This fantasy football best ball draft edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet fifty dollars at WinBet and get two hundred dollars in free bets. Bet big, win bigger with WinBet. Download the WinBet app now or visit wynnbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Sleeper. You already play fantasy on Sleeper, but now you can win cold hard cash with their over under game. Just head to sleeper.com slash SGP on your phone to join the SGPN group and Sleeper will automatically match your first deposit up to $100. That's sleeper.com slash SGP. We're also brought to you by IP Vanish. IP Vanish is the official VPN of SGPN, and they're offering you 70% off. All you got to do is go to ipvanish.com slash SGP. That's ipvanish.com slash SGP. And make sure to check out a brand new Discord server, the perfect place to interact and sweat bets with the entire SGPN crew. Just go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. This is Jerry Glanville, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, brother. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner picks, right? Real money. Kramer. What's happening? Kramer dog. Oh, I had the sound cue up, Sean. Dog. There it is. Uh, there you go. Hey, we're back in the streets. We're, we're back in the beautiful, beautiful best ball streets. Uh, and you're still on, on the road, like a fucking circus, Sean green. Yep. Still on the road, grinding it out. We'll be back in studio starting tomorrow. Can't wait to go back. Uh, wipe down my mic cover, whoever has been using it, oh, uh, you know, get that all nice and clean. And really, I mean, we had to do an episode today, Ryan, just to talk about the amazing 25 to one cam Smith winner. I gave out oh, You're we welcome go. America. And that's why you call it the British open. Cause in USA, we oh, cash man. winners, put another winner on the Bobby cam Smith. What a win. Congratulations. Was a, he was, he was down four uh, strokes, came all the way back to win by two and uh, in classic warrior fashion, just completely uh, kind of choked it away there. Final day. So shout out to me, everyone who tailed uh great win. Congratulations. I mean, it's been a while. I mean, it, it brought, it, it was a little nostalgic, Sean, because it, I don't know if you remember this, but our first ever uh, golf future was uh, a 25 to one on uh, good old bubble Watson. Bubba Watson. So. Was that 2012? Yeah, holy shit, dude. That was 10 years ago. It was the anniversary. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting old. All right. Uh, we're gonna do a best ball draft. These are super fun. As always, we're brought to you by Win Bets. That's right, bet big, win bigger. You know the deal with Win Bet. If you've been listening to the show, I don't know why you're not already down over at Win Bet. I mean, move to a Win Bet state. That's how how awesome Win Bet is. And of course, the uh, the great ultimate fantasy football experience for you and your entire league. Every five hundred dollars you uh, gamble on sports or casino before the end of July, get entered to win in that contest. Again, that's a hell of a prize. And again, you're already betting. Uh, if you're grinding out baseball like I have been, uh, hashtag baseball Sean, the the win bet prices really are the best. I mean, you're getting five cents uh, juice your way. Like almost all the stuff's like minus one hundred five uh, compared to minus one ten other places. So you you really got to be getting over at win bet. Offer subject to change terms conditions at win bet. The must be twenty one or older and present in the state where play through win bet is available. You or someone you know has a gaming problem? Call one 4700 And Ryan uh, just added home run derby contest exclusively on the SGPN app. Free as always. Wait, you know, not only giving you Cam Smith at twenty-five to one, but also giving you a free home run derby contest. Winner gets a two hundred dollars gift certificate to that brand new SGPN store. We have a new uh, Madden. He will get penetration T-shirt, although it did leave penetration off. It felt a little aggressive for a T-shirt. Now you can wear it to the. Uh, now you can wear it to like the family barbecue and then uh-huh. explain explain what the T-shirt means without having penetration. Uh, written on your shirt. I think you just put it in small, like cursive up around the, the <laughs> neck, the back neck part. You just, just slide in the uh, penetration and like a nice calligraphy. All right, Ryan, let's do it. Let's uh, get the best ball mania draft going. 
All right, we're gonna hop over into our sweet, sweet best. All right, now we're we're seeing the we're seeing our screen. I'm gonna poke my head in as per usual. I feel like Sean, not that uh, the layman's are actually in the best ball streets yet, but it does feel like people are more and more people are looking uh, to jump in. So hope, maybe we'll have something fun happen. All right, what do we got here? Plenty of spots. Eleven spots open. Perfect. This might happen in. All right. So oh, I'm in. I'm gonna and, and Sean, uh, I'm gonna go let our Discord know. Yeah. There we go. Again, if you haven't joined the Discord, I don't know what you're waiting for. I get it. Change is scary. I know there's some diehard Slack people hanging on. The Slack door has been closed. Um, so if you wanna it, it, no one's gonna no one's gonna kick uh, you out. But again, all the new people head over to Discord, crazy gif emojis, so much fun in Discord. And it's a you gotta do the Discord. You know, some things you just gotta do. You gotta hop in the Discord. I mean, uh, we're gonna be doing some live uh, Q and A stuff in there on their voice channels. Um, we'll be doing take probably taking some call in uh, post game, pre game uh, show stuff there. So you're gonna want to get in to Discord now, sportsgamingpodcast.com slash Discord. Sean, this I'm just, uh, draft is filling up, right? I'm just thinking about uh, Big Blue trying to figure out Discord. Uh, oh, Big and Blue? shout out to Big, Big Blue. Blue. You know, Big Blue figures out how to enter every contest and win every contest. He is That's our true. our winningest uh, <laughs> winningest listener by a long time. We need to all right side project for the intern or someone who's listening who works for SGPN. We need to put. We need a. We actually need this. We need an all time contest uh, ranking leaderboard just so Big Blue can be at the top. Uh, guy asking in the YouTube chat, terrible Panther, how to join. Uh, first sign up over at underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN, hundred percent deposit bonus up to $100. And then you just click best ball mania three uh, to get in. Hopefully, although it looks like it may be filled now, oh, we're full. maybe you got in, maybe you didn't apologies oh, sure. if you didn't, uh, but we do. I always forget. I have to go to my other screen and open a draft, Sean. So now I'm yes. as usual, I'm panicking. <laughs> and uh, Nick Fortune saying, "Yeah, yes, joining the Discord is the cool thing to do." Again, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. That's where dog. you go. We need a dog badge. Dog <laughs> for like real OGs. Could they get the oh, dog? I All like right, it. Here we go. I'm looking at the list of uh, we got in the one spot. We got Fraggy, uh, Chip, Skylark, number two, Mary, uh, Marae, Elizabeth. Uh, three Beezer picks for XFL Jim. Uh, XFL Jim, you're contractually obligated to go by CFL Jim right now. Co host of the CFL <laughs> Gambling Podcast. Chili Ray in the sixth spot. Uh, myself in the seventh spot, Sean. Rem J in um, the eighth spot. Grandpa J23 in the ninth spot. Maybe he did get in if that's the same guy. Tony Doe in the 10th spot. Sean T. Green, 11. And J Strokes. Uh, coming up in the caboose, or maybe as we'll start calling it, the slack door spot. My slack door will never, never remain shut. Exit only. All right. Mm. Uh, and the draft is underway. I'm sitting in the 11 spot. I kind of hate that. I feel like, especially this year, but no, you don't. Uh, really? You like Why it? don't I hate that? Because I don't think you yourself will will say I don't have a, a strong opinion on the top guys. It's true. The difference between two and seven is whatever, which. I, I do like being in the back half of the draft. I feel like you have okay. less pressure to take someone you don't really love. It's also true. Jonathan Taylor, Christian McCaffrey, Cooper Cup, Jamar Chase. A little, I guess, no, no surprises yet. It's hard to breathe in here. It's so chalky. Justin Jefferson. Uh, Justin Jefferson. I don't know if you saw. I was floating around social this morning. Uh, proclaimed he will be the leader in yardage this year. So that's nice. Uh, you know, I, I came into this draft with a couple thoughts in mind and uh, one of them being, well, I haven't, I haven't, uh, oh man, there's Najee. There's so many people here that I really adore, but I haven't pulled the, uh, pulled it off yet. And so I'm going to do this because I am, I am getting excited about Travis Kelsey again, Sean here. here and, and, oh, wow. Uh, not Austin Eckler, Travis Kelsey, Najee Harris. It was someone I was hoping would fall fall down to me, but it, alas, did not happen. I I just feel like um, we've seen, especially in tight end premium leagues, we've seen Kelsey be the absolute bell of the ball, and he just delivers every year. And now, like most of those years, he delivered with Tyree Kill, and I understand there's other dudes there, but I'm I'm more and more being like shit. He like 
even in a bad week, what's his line going to look like, Sean? Six catches? Uh, it, yeah. It, it it does seem like his he might have the biggest floor and and absolute ceiling. And again, so, uh, I tweeted this out, Sean. I know you're on the clock, but they're like tequila. You got to go with an elite. A clear, obvious, good <laughs> tequila is just like a tight end. All right, you're on the clock. Uh, I'm on the clock. Now, what do I do here? Do I go Devontae Adams, Derrick Henry option, Dalvin Cook, Devontae? It's a build thing. Like for me, the Kelsey thing is because I don't have a Chiefs build. And yeah. I, that's where I was kind of, you know, hoping He's, I'd be in, in that somewhere in this range. Nice. Yeah, that's the pick. Devontae Adams, number 11. And I'll wait till your I mean, next pick before I start talking about players. But. Um, one thing to note, I mean, we did just do the experts draft, Sean, uh, 14 yeah. team. And you know who our first pick was Devonte Adams in the 13 mm -hmm. spot. So that, that was a, you, you, I love the start of your team. Number one receiver. And now Derek Henry CD lamb now I'm back on the clock. I think I'm going to go zero RB and just load up on Mike Evans again. Yeah. I I'm getting more and more Mike Evans as the season goes along. And, and really what's not to like about a Mike Evans stack. And really now there, you know, knock on wood, I can probably get the Derek Carr and Tom Brady stack without having to give up too much. I mean, again, I think you, you just, it, I also, um, I think I'm not, I'm not different enough up top. That's the other thing. And so, yeah, I think like what I worry about in, in drafting towards the end is I'm always going to take Devonte Adams. I'm always going to want to take Mike Evans. I, I think you were getting quite high on him, but the case is easy. It's easy to under yeah. understand. Dalvin cook, Javante Williams, Aaron Jones goes off the board. I like Javante Williams as a guy, but man, just second round, super high. And Melvin Gordon is just as a coach's pet and a guy who just finds ways to get on the field. And then there are so many mouths to feed in the passing game. Ryan unfortunately took one of my uh, busts for 2022. Saquon Barkley can't help it. Uh, <laughs> I I did a little. You know, I, it just is great how of, I'm labeled the homer of the show. A little bit of traveling, and it's just like Jesus Christ. Saquon's going to get a, a ton of targets, ton of targets loading. Uh, starting to do the prep for the NFL preview, Sean. And yeah, the, the takeaway is there's going to be a lot of pass catching volume in his future, and so yeah, I'm, I'm grabbing it, being a little bit of a homer. You know, none of the receivers who I really it would have been T. Higgins if I was going to snap another receiver up, uh, but I figured I'd wait. Uh, like like the idea of grabbing a running back in the first two picks. I that would be my only feedback to you is I generally don't love the team. I, I do like a little bit of a, a having some security at the running back position. Well, and again, it you know drafting at the eleven spot with the back to back, I could very well go two running backs again for my third and fourth round, depending on who's available. Uh, just Mark Andrews, Nick Chubb, uh, Fournette, Samuel, Tyree kill way too high for Tyree kill uh, T Higgins all off the board. Ryan, of course, uh, you know, you're in the SGPN studio. I'm remote, oh, what? but we're both firing on IP vanish. That's right. IP vanish the official VPN of the sports gambling podcast network. If you're a DJ and you're listening to this and you haven't signed up for IP vanish, what are you doing? And encrypt hundred percent of your data, whether it's crypto uh, online sports gambling, plenty of reasons why you want to use IP vanished. Uh, took it down to Costa Rica, set my dad up with the uh, mini God's eye highly recommend it again, not going to sacrifice you on speed, unlimited devices. It really is hands down the best one. And we've tried other VPNs. IP vanish is the one for us. IP vanish.com slash S G P IP vanish.com slash S G P 70% off their yearly plan and a 30 day money back guarantee could not find a better deal. AJ Brown goes Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Terry McLaurin. So a bit of a receiver run. You're almost on the clock. You're on. Yeah, I was fixing the. I didn't. The, of course, video teams getting fired. Draft board now on the screen. All right. Oh wow. Uh, I am now back on the clock, and all right, perfect. The I was I was hoping he'd make it back to me. Uh, he he showed up in my top ten wide receivers, Sean. I don't know if you noticed, we're drafting the third round, a place where you shouldn't be able to get a top ten wide receiver. Give me DJ Moore. Um, oh, okay. The case is obvious. I, I think, you know, say what you will about Baker. DJ Moore has been productive with with worse, and again, uh, you look at the receiver uh, crop at this point, and I, I it's getting thin. So wanted to, to to lock down my wide receiver one. 
DJ. Moore. Josh Allen goes first quarterback drafted. Kyle Pitts, Travis Etienne. I'm on the clock. Uh, I know. I understand the case against him, but I'm taking uh, James Conner here nah. in the third round all day. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Your ownership all numbers day. are going to be hilarious. I, I mean, again, if he's going <laughs> to be here, the the real question is, what do I do in round four? Because do I do I stretch for a running another running back? Uh, I don't kind of I kind of don't like the running backs in the range, and I kind of do like a couple of the receivers. Here. Sean, you got to take Kamara, right? Did he? And just hope he doesn't. I mean, six games is a lot, but what's he going to be when he's in there? In max six yeah. games. It could be less. The six games is based on one report from PFF or PFT. I, you like, know what? You, you talk me into it because. <laughs> Um, especially for best ball. I mean, like redraft, I understand, but you know, we're looking in best ball, we're looking ceiling. Yeah. I mean, the sky's the ceiling. Give me Alvin Kamara, because he really could make a crazy playoff run. And, you know, you're you're trying to beat out this massive field size. You gotta do uh stuff like that sometimes. This, this could be a team that wants to run the ball. This could be, I mean, I don't know. Call me crazy. Kamara could be doing everything for this team. Uh, there's a version where their defense and their Alvin Kamara and, and you know, Michael Thomas isn't good. Cause he missed a lot of uh, games. All right. Uh, you want to catch everyone up and then I'll make my pick. Yep. Uh, Justin Herbert goes Cortland Sutton, Gabe Davis, who I wanted and maybe should have taken, but I, I probably have enough Gabe Davis. What are you doing here? Kramer? I'm not rolling the dice. Give me a premium <laughs> stack. I feel like we're uh, look how many First time you've drafted a good quarterback. I think since we've been doing this, <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. Uh, well, I, I haven't gotten too many of the premium stacks. Remember that fucker Darrow taking taking Joe oh, Burrow yes. away from me. Uh, well, by the way, Jake, feel free to fire up the the fuck Darrow shirt. Um, <laughs> maybe an asterisk to make it classy. But yeah, I, I went Kelsey. So the plan was always going to be to take Mahomes. Sean, would you have rolled the dice and waited an, another round, or you got to pull the trigger here, right? Yeah, a little bit of a run on quarterbacks. I mean, you also like Lamar, but um, no, this was, this was not about like, I would, yeah, it's about a, getting the stack in a redraft league. I'm taking Lamar, Sean, we ended up with Lamar uh, very influenced in the fantasy, draft. but I, 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 I think sometimes that was my takeaway. I, I feel like I'm too focused on not having certain guys that I'm, I'm also avoiding other guys. And I feel like it's going to be silly if I have like way, way, way under underweight on chief stacks this year, George Kittle, Darren Waller. Uh, go George Kittle, Hollywood Brown, George Kittle, the number one tight end in the league. According to the NFL. I don't know if you hmm. saw that. That was, you know, hot Missed take, very hot take. <laughs> I have one Brandon for, cooks is always an interesting uh, pick because he's good. He's, he just right. keeps get, he just gets a thousand yards every season. Brandon cooks or DK Metcalf. Hmm. I, I mean, I kind of like the I like the uh, Davis smells Brandon Cooks connection. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, the Davis Mills stacks. That I feel like that there's going to be involvement in the in the champion of this thing with some Davis Mills stacks. DK Metcalf goes before Brandon Cooks, Sean. Mm. That's crazy. Not, not surprising. I mean, no, that's oh, J.K. Dobbins goes seconds before Lamar I was. Lamar goes the, XFL Jim. You're almost on the clock, Ryan. What are you What are you looking to do here? Oh, oh and Brandon Cooks does just. It, go. It's just fallen into my lap. Um, just gonna let's let's go, Chief. I have a Chiefs mega stack loading. Juju to go with Kelsey and Mahomes. Come at me, Sean. Feeling good about this one. I haven't done it yet. Have you? Have you seen a a Juju Kelsey Mahomes team yet? Uh, no, I don't. I don't recall any in the in the ones we've done so far. Probably gonna want one, right? You're probably gonna want to yeah. have a piece of that. What are, What are you Monse looking Brown, at? Brown, Kyler Murray. I might take Chris Godwin. I know he's coming mm. off the ACL, but I have a better or, pick for you. Russell Gage. I I, I probably I. I would, or do I go Elijah Mitchell? Mm, I would. Ad, it, I would love this guy to make it back to me, but he probably wouldn't. So I would advise you to take a guy like Rashad Bateman, unless you're scared about the target share. Like he's, he's the guy who could like make a huge jump this year. We All know right. that the the case is very obvious, right? Targets left, 
he ha- he profiles as a true number one receiver. He's a little you, you know, talk he, me into it. Yeah, I like I like Bateman. I mean, we liked him a lot last year, and it wasn't for the injuries. And they got rid of Hollywood Brown, so you know, combine that Adam Thiel and Amari Cooper goes. Now, what do I do, Ryan? Do I take Elijah Mitchell? Do I take Chris Godwin? Do I go Russell Gage? If you're playing AJ a game Dillon? where you're gonna end up, you're looking to grab Brady, and you just want to lob. I, I feel like I would play Gage regardless. I, I think Godwin's like um, the amount of time he might miss might uh, that concerns me a little bit. And so right now, yeah. I would look. They brought in Russell Gage for a reason. This is one of those like follow the money situations. Uh, you know, the only thing preventing it because it's great situation is if he doesn't click with Tom Brady, which is always possible, right? Yeah, but he usually does well with those, like, uh, you know. And more importantly, I am almost up, and I'm I'm kind of at a loss for where I, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for here. Um, I, I'm not really sure why is David Montgomery still on the board. Yeah. I, I understand. Josh Jacobs, Jalen Hurts, Elijah Mitchell. No, I mean I'm not as high on him as other people, but in the sixth round, he still projects a pretty good volume. You know what though? I like this. I like the upside of this. AJ Dillon. I like the. I just purely, if Aaron Jones goes away, like who knows what this guy could be? And it sounds like he's going to be, you know, at least involved in the goal line work. So, oh, Godwin does go. Yeah, I mean that's no surprise. I wasn't really I, I'm, expecting him. I got to wait on Godwin. I, I feel like there's nothing suggesting him playing anytime soon and people are just ignoring it. Yeah. Uh, so already at the 68th pick Devonta Smith, Godwin right there. Uh, Jalen hurts went, I, I, this is, I do not have any teams that look like this. I don't have a ton of AJ Dillon. I don't have any, a ton of Mahomes. Or or Travis Kelsey. This is delightful. Are you gonna try and get Sky Moore on? I mean, I like how you like how throw- much stacking is enough. Is there a point of with loss Kansas returns City? when it comes to stacking? With a team like Kansas City? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna uh, Joey, stack a team, that's one of the teams. Yeah. I think it's okay. Stogie to- Joe goes, uh David Montgomery off the board. And I do feel very liberated already having a quarterback and tight end, not having to figure out like, ah, oh, I better, better grab one of these trash picks. It is nice. It's a nice luxury to have. I hear you. Might have to grab Trey that, Lance uh, just went. I sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Montgomery goes. So is this purely just? They're they're finally listening to us and and the the Khalil Herbert, like the fact that like the new coaching staff maybe not, maybe not Montgomery maybe they're gonna use more of a committee. Yeah, you doing some last last minute research here? Is that what's going on? Oh, I'm just checking in on the YouTube chat. Nick nice. Fortune saying Kramer go for Fields before Sean grabs him. <sighs> Why do uh, Sean, I mean, and and Mike Rob pointing out, uh, Brady has talked a few times about how excited he is for Gage. Yeah. Dalton Schultz, DeAndre Hopkins, Drake London, Antonio Gibson. I, I don't think I want much exposure to any of those guys, right? I I wouldn't say I'm seeing anyone that's that's. Uh, I mean, DeAndre Hopkins. I guess you could make the similar case to Kamara, where it's like maybe he ends up being like a playoff guy that really swings things for you. And in the seventh round, is it crazy? I guess it just seems more realistic. Oh that, my god! Oh, that sucks. I Chili guess, Ray, you're killing me. I guess it just drafted seems, Tom Brady. All right, it whatever, just seems more realistic. That, yeah, I'm I'm sad for you too because I thought he was going to make it. Right, just look the other way real quick, Sean. Kadarius Tony goes to Ryan. Shocking. Just loading up on athletes. Fantasy football is about loading up on athletes. Now I might have to take Justin Fields now that I, I'm not going to get that Brady stack. Did I did I miss that's, it? That's what's that's what's uh, annoying about you know drafting eleven. You have to wait so long for <laughs> your picks. Yeah, that does suck. Uh, Michael Thomas just went who again, very weird with that ankle. Injury. I mean, he hasn't played since what? Like week five of 2020. Uh, yeah. 
Something I, weird's going on. There. I want nothing. Hunter Renfro goes oh, right in front son of me. Of a wow. Bitch. Well, just you should. You're going to take Sander, Miles Sanders, I assume at this point. Yeah, I mean, volume running back. Let's go. And now, I, I mean, if I was in your brain, I'm sure your brain is like, well, I do like Elijah Moore. Yeah. Well, then don't overthink it. And maybe get the Zach Wilson stack we're still super at, cheap. We're still at a phase. Uh, Elijah where- Moore just went. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Destroyed my draft single handedly. Do I do I just reach and draft Derek Carr now? No. Um over Russell Wilson. That would be epic. I mean, I think you I, I see some, I mean, you know, you might want to what's your let's see, three. You could you could grab another running back and just be good with it. Cause I'm sure you don't love the receivers in this tier. Oh okay. I actually went Tyler Boyd. Oh. Maybe yeah. a little bit of a stretch, but I I think he has a nice ceiling. Uh, I think his you're going to see his ADP cl- start to climb a little bit. People are going to realize he's like a, an injury away from being very involved. There are a couple of running backs I like, but Dawson Knox goes Chase Claypool. Oh, and uh, John left us. <laughs> no, I just turned off the video for a second. I got gotcha. you. All right, are we just gonna we're just gonna continue to do this? Let's see. You know, the reports coming out of Kansas City say that MVS is the best receiver on the field. So uh let's keep going. I now have Dawson Knox, Claypool, Alave, and now MVS to Ryan. Wow. I mean, you're getting a little jealous of how I have the entire Chiefs <laughs> offense. Well, what? Why? Why are you uh, passing on Clyde Edwards Elaire? Because I think I'd rather be. We don't think we don't think he's going to be involved in the passing game, regardless, or or at least not heavily. So I, I'd rather just maintain just having the stack. And honestly, he's kind of in the way. Yeah, he, he's in a weird Dak, awkward spot. C E H Goddard goes, Stafford goes. But I, for for the record, I do like C E H. It was a debate there, but I thought I had to take MVS because he would have gone as well. Brandon Ayuk off the board. You're right, though, Sean. It is nice to be in the middle. You, you kind of, I, I have a consistent pace going. All right, so should we little little mid mid draft recap right now? Yeah. Mahomes, Barkley, Dylan, DJ Moore, Juju, Kadarius, Tony, MVS, Travis Kelsey. Hmm. So I got uh, James Conner, Alvin Kamara, Miles Sanders, Devontae Adams, Mike Evans, Rashad Bateman, Russell Gage, Tyler Boyd. Oh, Sky Moore got taken. Someone's being a real dick. That's unfortunate. Uh, this wasn't quite a dark. Damian one. Harris goes. Uh, Damian Harris, actually, I had him in my queue. I'm a little disappointed right now. Hold on. Got to recover. Uh, a rod, aka Aaron Rodgers, goes Robert Woods off the board. Cream Hunt goes, yeah. Kramer, you're on the clock. What I'll, are you looking uh, at? I'm gonna go. I only have two running backs, and you know, not only was it he an OG, our gal, but you know, the fantasy community, aka the nerds out there, are starting to drop all his sweet, sweet numbers. If he can stay healthy, we know there's gonna be carries there. And you see what's happened, Sean. The ADP for Penny has has gone over now. Kenneth Walker, aka Ken Walker. So interesting, interesting. Sounds like there's a you know some no- notes coming out of Seattle that Penny could uh, be the starter going into the camp. Zach Ertz, Kenneth Walker goes. Ken. He's he really wants to be called Ken. Oh, that's right. I forgot. All right, I'm gonna have to do it and just. Uh, Draft Derek Carr right now. <laughs> I don't want him to get away. Uh, we're in a bizarro world where you're chasing shitty quarterbacks. Oh no, I like Derek Carr this week, this year. Yeah, you know, I got Devonte Adams, uh, Irv Smith, Pat Fryermuth. Go. I, I'm gonna take it. I have, don't have any. Um, I, I don't think I have any ownership of him, but I I'm gonna take Chase Edmonds. I think there's a real upside case for him in Miami. And you know, that Mike McDaniel guy, um, there's a chance he kind of runs a, a Shanahan system. And what if, what if chase Edmonds is kind of like the lead back in that role? 
I, I don't think I thought enough about the fact that he was coming from the Shanahan uh-huh. tree, uh-huh. which again, why I'm not high on Tyree kill. Cause I don't think a Shanahan offense can really have two top fantasy receivers. That's probably accurate. All right. Michael Gallup, James Cook, Tyler Lockett, all off the board. Kramer, you're back on the clock. Sean, you know I'm a sucker for watching dudes run in the sand. Melvin Gordon. I don't have enough of this guy. I'm going to take buy into another like projected backup p- situation. It sounds it does sound like as someone who is really high on Javante Williams early in the process. It sounds like no one, there's no one that knows and s- o- almost certainly people seem to think Melvin Gordon might have an edge. So yeah, I just, you know, again, I like Javante as a talent, but like the idea that, I mean, they, they re-signed Gordon granted. They didn't give him a ton of money, but I, how is he not going to be involved? Ramon J Stevenson just went to XFL gym. He's kind of an interesting play too. He was in the realm of uh consideration there, but I realized I had a really you know, I went from having two running backs to now adding Penny and Gordon. I feel like both those guys being coin flips, maybe one of them produces. Now I got to look back at the receiver room. I can't believe Sky Moore got snaked for me, Sean. Ooh, Garrett Wilson off. He was in my queue. Do we not have enough Trevor Lawrence, Ryan? Because the you know the more I think about it, and we were doing that futures draft, and kind of came back to the idea of of wanting Doug P a coach of the year. Um, just because like coach of the year is all about, you know, beating your, the team's last year, win total by five or six. So he could go nine and eight and, and look like a God down there in Jacksonville. Yeah. I mean, look, this is another situation where I think, you know, Sean green from a couple months ago, lambasting real money Kramer here for taking Trevor Lawrence as one of his shitty quarterbacks. Now you're catching up to the thought experience that I was having back then. I, I do experience. I do think he's in that bucket of guys that are going. They're not going to go this late once we get to the season because there's such an upside case. Yeah. I, I think people are completely ignoring the fact that Trevor Lawrence. Could, oh, Kenny Galladay goes. Trevor Lawrence could also use his legs a bit. That's not really even in most people's you know projection on what why he's interesting this year. But really, it's just the quarter. It's bringing in someone who's going to make things as good as possible. And, you know, teaser alert might be doing a little prep work on the Jags right now, Sean. I, I'll, I'll use, I'll reuse this one, but Jags, a pretty good offensive line. So hmm. I, I, I think this is a rare, Dude, like, uh, Doug P, a good offensive line, somewhat mobile quarterback, run some RPO stuff. It, it could int- get interesting. Yeah. Uh, updating the draft Christian Watson, Garrett Wilson, Robbie Anderson, Kenny Galladay. Uh, Rashad White, Bucks rookie, seems to be climbing up ADPs. It, he is certainly. I think he's definitely one of these guys who's getting getting a crazy amount of buzz. Uh, people are getting very excited. Like, what if? What if Leonard Fournette's fat and out of shape? And it's like, I, I guess I get it. But he's all, and he was one of those Raz score guys, if you remember from the draft process. <laughs> so I, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about him. I mean, I get the upside case. Oh shit, I'm on the clock, huh? All right. Where what are we looking at here? Uh let's see. Oh god Rondale damn it. No one took him. All right, well, Baker no. went, Rondale Moore, Alexander Madison's Kirk Cousins, Cole Quebec goes. Who I'm always a fan of. Yeah, I'm I'm actually gonna I wanna go I wanna take God damn it, I hate that I took this guy. Ronald Jones, I, right? I wanted him to be ta- again. I'm I'm reading part of why I didn't take Ceh. I mean, I like Ceh. I think he's going to have a clear role, but uh, it does sound like they fu- Andy Reid fucking likes Ronald Jones, and Andy Reid has helped running backs to achieve greater success. I mean, we know Ronald mm-hmm. Jones struggled in Tampa. It d- did seem like there was a little bit of a doghouse situation down there, and he was always a hyped guy coming out of USC. Might have been a four or five star. So who knows? Put him in the Kansas City offense. He could be the passing back anyway. Long, a lot of words to to get there, but he could end up being the passing back. So let's stack him with Patrick Mahomes, Sean. Just drafted. Uh, <laughs> talked so much about him. I talked myself into him. Just took Trevor Lawrence, right? Nice. I am mad at you. No. Oh. And I see Isaiah that Isaiah Spiller goes. My guy. How dare you? How is Cordell Patterson still on the board? Like I'm being dead serious right now. We're acting like those idiot football coaches his whole career. 
<laughs> they didn't realize he was just a football player. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna draft him. <laughs> he's, I mean, my as my fifth running back, sure. He'll get points. Like he'll fucking, they'll find a way. You don't think yeah. he'd be a great slot receiver with Kyle Pitts and uh, Drake London out wide? Do I even? I just gotta. F- Sorry, Sean. Go ahead. No, now I just gotta focus on uh, receivers and tight ends. Gasecki gone. Algier Spiller gone. Do I even need a second tight end? <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to. All right, you, you you make a good case. How many? All right, all right. loading up on some uh, some Jags pass catchers in the uh, old. Oh, we're here. doing a little Q management. Nice. Yep. Is Jacoby Myers still the number one receiver in New England? No, nah, that 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 ceiling is too low. Let's go. That's this is the pick. Again, you know, I've been doing my prep work when I got these nuggets, but guess who's running with the ones out there in Los Angeles with Herbert Palmer? He's getting interesting in my. I mean, I still love Keenan Allen. I do think he's going to run uh, a lot, a lot more in the slot, and I think Palmer could be the third guy outside when they decide to go that angle. I think they could use a little less tight end this year too, Sean. So three, uh, three wide receivers could be something they fancy. And in a, in a world where it was like Myers Crowder, some of these other uh, low a dot guys, give me Palmer. He's going to be running down the field. Ryan head over to sleeper.com slash S G P get involved in their brand new over under game. Again, you love fantasy. That's why you're uh, checking out a best ball draft in the middle of July, you probably already have a league on sleeper, but again, get involved in the over under perfect way to grind out some MLB props. You can win two X all the way up to 20 X. I've been uh, getting down on some of these. So fun Throw you know, throw a couple of bucks on there and you go to sleeper.com slash SGP. You can get our squad. You can copy our picks. You can uh, suggest picks to us. It's a ton of fun. Sleeper.com slash SGP. Get that hundred percent deposit bonus. When you go to sleeper.com slash SGP and, and use SGP when depositing there, terms and conditions apply. See sleepers terms of use for details. All right, Tua just went before that. Darnell Henderson, Jahan Dotson, um, Jamal Williams, Jamison Crowder, Jacoby Myers. And then uh, back to you, Ryan, with Palmer. What are your thoughts on the Palmer pick? We haven't discussed I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Yeah, to your point, he could be the number three. I had I had this moment where I just I do find myself taking way too many of those like in this range those guys who are going to be getting a high volume of targets but they're just crap targets and I think in best ball maybe that's not the right strategy. Yeah. I have five I have five running backs, five wide receivers. I'm considering going six running backs. Is that crazy? Um yeah. I always lean receiver bullets. I'm so gonna, wait, how many picks total do we get, Ryan? 18. 18. So right now I have five running backs, five receivers, two quarterbacks. You know what? I'm just gonna lock in my backup quarterback. AKA another massive stack. Saquon Barkley, Kadarius Tony now paired up with the elite Danny Dimes. I love that football is close because I'm also looking at how many muscles that Daniel Jones added to. He might might as well be white Lamar Jackson. That's what I'm going yeah. with. <laughs> Oh, Ryan. I know every year it's the same problem. I but do. I'm the Homer. That's always the, you are the part. Homer. That's true. Jameis Winston goes, uh, KJ Osborne off the board. All right. So I see the, the reason I, I brought up the running back thing with you and here you're on Matt the clock, Ryan. So we can, we're, we, I think we have the exact same build at this point, except for I have a tight end. Um, I mean, are, you don't have. Are you take? Oh my goodness! What nice stack. Marvin Jones? Yeah, I, I, I was, I was. We were about to have a conversation about. Are you going to take your tight end here? No, taking Marvin Jones. Nope. But I got a couple uh, tight ends. I'm keeping an eye on. See, all right. I was thinking about taking Davis Price at the running back position. He's, He's intrig- gone. He's intriguing. James Robinson goes Ooh, so late. Uh, so late. Evan Ingram. There you go. First tight end, Ryan. 
That's probably who you're going to tell me to draft, right? I saw a nugget somewhere. Apologies. I don't remember where uh, Travis Kelsey's first thousand yard season is in the same season that Evan Ingram in, is in now. So loading massive season loading. He's going to break out. Uh, Corey Davis goes to Sean Watson, <laughs> Robert Tunyon. Who's right. why would you draft to Sean Watson? I guess maybe he's only suspended eight games and then balls out. I man, I don't understand why Michael Carter is still on the board. I understand yeah, Brees Hall. Uh, yeah, I, I understand Brees Hall is is there and everything, but again, it's a defensive minded coach, and this is an offense with a young quarterback who obviously they want to help him by having a running game. So, I, I mean, we liked Michael Carter last year. I I uh, I don't mind him being my last running back here, number six running back, Michael Carter. Yeah, let's go. Realizing I have three wide receivers on bye week eight, so we're gonna have to. Little and a tight end and a quarterback. So. Yeah, underdog, you should do like a little uh like warning. Wouldn't be hard. Like a little bye week counter. They're printing money though. They could give two shits about your about your feedback on the the fact that you can't can't treat keep track of buys. Oh man, I have so many people on bye week eleven. <laughs> <laughs> that also could just mean you're you were effectively stacking. It's also true. All right. So now that I have my two quarterbacks, my six, six running backs, only five wide receivers. I think it's just wide receivers here on out. And I'll, uh, I'll put a, put a Van back. Jefferson, Julio Jones, Greg Edwards, all off the board. Julio, not on a team. team for those wanting to know. Yeah. <clears throat> and is it bad to take seven running backs? Um. Yeah, I think so. Do we have any uh any best ball czars in the chat to inform me? What's the how negative EV am I if I'm going seven running backs? Fuck, Nico Collins went Fraggy. We like. Careful. I'm sorry. We like Fraggy. I mean, we like uh, Nico Collins. Yes. Uh, I got a couple a uh, couple receivers loaded up in the queue here. I do have to save, make sure I get my three tight ends because I'm pretty thin at tight end. Unless Evan Ingram just balls out. Is he your only a tight end? Yeah. That's hilarious. You so I get two more non tight ends and then I'm saving two picks <laughs> for tight ends. Who's what are we looking at in the tight end room? That's left. Not, it's thin. Not a it's lot. Thin run. It's pretty thin. I, I also only have one tight end. But mine's Travis Kelsey. Wow, the draft's really moving. Uh, Noah Fant, David Njoku, Jamal Williams, uh, Hayden Hurst, Sammy Watkins, all gone. Kramer, you're almost on the clock. Marlon Mack goes. All right, so Indy is supposed to be a decent team, right? And someone's someone's going to have to catch passes there. There's got to be a number two for Matt Ryan, right? Again, I'm diving in. I'm reading the beat reporters, and boy, Harris Campbell is starting to show <laughs> out. Again, we're in the what fifteenth round, and this dude probably going to be their number two. Uh, yeah, let's go, John. The prep work is happening. We're going to win a lot of money this year. Oh, awesome! Looking forward to it. I mean, I already have uh, a lot Terrace of, Marshall goes. I already got a lot. Who of do you think? Down. Who do you? If you had to pick between Zay Jones, Lavisca Chenault, what are you doing, Ryan? Uh, Zay Jones. I I think yeah. you got again. I think there is something to the idea of looking at. Oh, he this receiver was brought in by this coaching staff. Seems obvious to me. I I, I would it also is a new coaching staff. So neither right. What do you mean? They signed him this year. Oh, they did. Oh, I thought he was there last year. Zay Jones uh, with the Raiders, Sean, and someone right. who was yeah, spoken yeah. very highly about by Derek Carr, which means he must have you know changed his ways since the incident where he was running around bloody and naked in a hotel room <laughs> as a member of Buffalo. Bills. I forgot about that. Uh, so I actually took a shot at George Pickens. I mean, okay. you could do worse than a Steelers receiver, right? I know. I know the questions at quarterback, but with Isaiah McKenzie on the board, I can't believe you, you, you went in that direction. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I don't like, have any, I don't have any ownership of him. I want to want a little bit. 
Nice. So I, I did uh, get him and then Zay Jones came back to me. So tight ends from here on out. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know how to approach the, the rest of this draft. Just do I just stack? Just maintain. Do I draft uh Dan Arnold to complete the Jacksonville tight end room? Yeah, that's kind of a weird. Just... I think you just stack. Cameron break goes. Yeah, I went with uh Oh man. Again, just watching the the behind the scenes video. Wandal as uh, some of his teammates. Oh my call god, Ryan. You got Wandal Robinson. W- why not? I'm this is how you win this shit, dude. I got Chiefs and Giants all in, baby. Let's go. This is the season. Hey. We are JD McKissick, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson, of course, in the news. Hooking up with his friend's mom. pretty boss, I get a, but it makes you yeah. wonder what else he's done. <laughs> Typical Mormon, I guess. I don't know. Very odd. Uh, Zabir white goes again, like taking a shot on him a uh, late here. Smart pick by whoever did that. Got my, uh, got three tight ends hoping to get to them. You want to talk about them or no? Yeah. Wait till we get a little closer. How many, what do you, what do you look in position wise? I, I still need a tight end too. I only have one. No, that's why you wanted to talk about it. seal my tight ends. Dearness Johnson gone. Not a lot of tight ends left though. Getting a little thin here. Uh, yeah, and we got a ton of NFL offseason content coming up. That's why you got to subscribe to the Sports Gambling Podcast. Uh, take a screenshot of you submitting a uh, review on Apple Podcasts and click uh, the contest tab of the SGPN app. Submit your screenshot there for a chance to win free gear every Monday, aka Merch Monday. XFL Jim uh, pulled the you, Ryan. I accidentally signed up for another draft <laughs> that was left on auto draft while I focused on this one. We got to come up with a name for this. Right? Uh, David Bell, Curtis Samuel, Austin Hooper, all off the board. We got to come up for a, with a name for this. Mac Jones Kramer. You're on the clock. Yeah. Normally I would look to stack. And if you are looking to stack Daniel Jones with a tight end, it's going to be Daniel Bellinger, but I'll buy into the fact that Gronk isn't coming back. Give me, oh, wow. You stole my Kate Otten play. Yeah, give me a, uh, I mean, again, it's you're buying right into a piece of this Tampa offense. I know tight ends as rookies, it's tough, but I got to imagine the bar to outperform uh, Cam Brate. I don't think it's going to be super high. So, agreed. And I don't see. I don't think there's a point in taking a third tight end when you have Kelsey. Chanel goes. Uh, I'm on the clock. I'm going to go Mo Alley Cox. I wouldn't be surprised if you think he has a couple guy? spike games with. Um, our good buddy, Matty Ice. Closing out the 17th round, about to begin the 18th and final round. Fantasy football best ball draft. Wow. Uh, wide, number one wide receiver, Nikhil Harry, still on the board, Sean. Really? Yeah. All right. Need one more tight end, Ryan. What do I do? Logan Thomas? I mean, I. He's fun because he like once he's back, he could be the. I almost took him because of that. Like he could be. I'm gonna the, go. Uh, I'm gonna go Trey McBride. Oh, I like I I like the upshot of him. See, I think I feel like Logan Thomas on a per game basis might have a higher upshot, but you yeah. know he's gonna miss time, so there's that balance. Well, and I, I'm looking at maybe Trey McBride. Zach Ertz gets banged up, or he sees a workload increase towards the end of the season. And he just goes off. They drafted him super high. Davis Mills, Carson Wentz, Duvernay, Hanchero, all off the board. Kramer, what are you doing for your final pick? I guess it should be a wide receiver. But I uh, I mean there there's not a lot of exciting wide receivers at this point in the draft. I, I guess I could take a guy like Odell 
uh, honorary stack with Danny Dimes. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep doing this. Well, no, he's going to be out there catching passes. I almost took another running back as, uh, unfortunately, another guy who's interesting, or at least someone you should pay attention to, with McKinnon being back on the Chiefs. Like, hey, just pay attention to that. He looked pretty good with them at times in the postseason last year. So, shout out to Peter Lee saying Sky Moore's route running is crispier than Sean's new good-looking tan. Wow, thank you. Wow. I think this is the first time I've ever been complimented on my color. It must just be a video thing. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> not correctly white balance, but uh, I, pre- I still appreciate that. Thank proudly you, Irish, proudly Irish. All right, here is my lineup, or my I don't know what you call it team. Uh, Derek Carr, <laughs> Trevor Lawrence, little thin at quarterback, but running backs: James Connor, Alvin Kamara, Miles Sanders, Chase Edmonds, Cordero Patterson. Nice balanced uh, team there. Devonte Adams, Mike Evans. Oh my! It clicked out right as you I was just got to go back in. Yeah. Um, Devonte Adams, Mike Evans, Rashad Bateman, Russell Gage, Tyler Boyd, Marvin Jones, George Pickens, and then Zay Jones. So I got the Jones brothers there. Tight ends: Evan Ingram, Mo Ali Cox, Trey McBride. What do you got, Kramer? Nice, Sean. Patrick Mahomes, Daniel Jones, oh, championship. Wow. Saquon Barkley, AJ Dillon, Rashad Penny, Melvin Gordon, R- Ronald Jones, Michael Carter, DJ Moore, Juju Smith Schuster, Kadarius Tony, MVS, Josh Palmer, Paris Campbell, w- Wandell Robinson, and Sterling Shepard. A lot of Giants on this team. Travis Kelsey and Kate Otten as the tight ends. Yes. Nice uh, work. I mean, your team, interesting, minus the Giants. That's where you really lost me. Massive amount of Giants. Yeah, it's a two two team mega stack. I'm going on the sure thing with the Chiefs, and I'm going on the lottery ticket with Dabes and the New York guy. Sean, you got to read up on Mike Kafka. This guy's awesome. So I'm watching a behind the scenes thing, real quick story with with uh, with the little one uh, yesterday morning, and it's about Mike Kafka, and she's not really paying attention the whole time, and she looks at me. They're showing footage of him playing for the Eagles. She's like, "What's this nonsense?" <laughs> Just thought it was funny that she called it nonsense. Anyway, nonsense indeed. All right. Uh, thank you guys, as always, for tuning into the Sports Gambling Podcast. Kramer, thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stack of the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Double Mega Stack complete. Kramer, let it ride.